Workout segment of the week. Workout segment of the week. Got there it. we go. How Thank you, already. Jeremy. My mother was a teacher, and my father was a computer programmer, and I told them both that I didn't want to be like them. And then, when I was 30 years old, my first professional job was teaching computers to children. So it turned out I became both of my parents anyway. No, the, the one about you changing my life with the, ban with the bandana. I think that's really you're really sleeping on my commercial. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep that one in the can for a while. And what we're trying to do is create a program where students have to write, direct, edit, act, and produce a weekly television show. It's sort of a, a cross between Saturday Night Live and, um, and a news show where we actually provide uh, news of the school. Hi, I'm Liliana Bustos. And I'm Haley Buffone. Welcome to our special Friday the 13th show. Well, that's spooky because Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Hopefully it's not bad luck for you, Haley. We have 28 students in the classroom. Each one of them is collaborating in some form or fashion on a weekly basis. Uh, to create various content for our show. I get to see how like stuff is actually made because when most people watch the news broadcasts and stuff they just see people in front of the camera but now I get to see what goes into it like how things have to be shot, certain camera angles that you need to use, lighting, sound, all that stuff. This week's word of the week is Bay. My fellow Americans, many of you are probably wondering why I'm here instead of uh, doing my job in Washington uh, running the country. And uh, up next, we have Hallways of Our Tongues. I mean... Hallways of Our uh, uh, Lives. <laughs> Hallways of Our Lives is an original uh, dramatic soap opera parody. It was written by one of my seniors for uh, my honors TV production class. It's directed by another of my students, and then it involves about seven or eight actors and a number of other people who help out. Working on Hallways of Our Lives has been great because it really is a different experience than you get from a lot of the other classes here. It allows me to work on the skills that I want to have like in my career later in life, which is great. We require the students uh, to blog a, a weekly review of the show so that they can not only create the show, but also reflect on the show and say, they say, what did I do right? What did we do wrong? How can we make it better? So the idea is, is that we constantly asking students to be original, to be creative, to be collaborative, and to be reflective. Mr. Hack, he's just been such a great teacher because he he just like allows you to be creative and he like he he's supportive no matter what like this like a soap opera like it's ridiculous but he he just lets us go with it he's always encouraging us to do new things like he wants he puts he gives us a lot of responsibility like he puts everything on us if we come up with a great idea he'll be like great make it happen here, here, look for some innovation here there creative you go. camera angles right here creative camera angles. <laughs> all right mr rehack has been one of the most fabulous teachers that we've ever had in our building. He is creative, the kids love him, he knows how to interact with students, uh, and we just love the work that is coming out of his creativeness. We come up with creative ideas. The, the beautiful part is we have 28 students, who, once they actually understand that if they have a creative idea, we will run with it. So when students want to do something, they come up with an idea, my answer is, yes, let's do it. How are we gonna actualize it? My teaching philosophy is this, is that we basically try to motivate students to be creative, to be collaborative, to understand that they have tremendous talents if they allow themselves to develop their skills. I try to help them do that. I try to facilitate that with creative projects, with creative ideas, but in the end, it's about motivating students to be better students. Yeah, we could do that. I like that. That's what I was saying. Coming soon or something. Uh, you want to know what the date is? Yeah. Mr. Rehack said it was genius because he says that about a lot of things when he's really excited about them. Mm -hmm.